Okay, so this is a website I built for a friend of mine. Uh, he needed a place to showcase his art, and I had some time to kill, so this is the design I ended up coming up with. Um, it's loosely based around the idea of clothing racks, about the way how when you're shopping for clothes, you can only see almost like a two-dimensional representation of like the side profile of some clothes on a rack. And like if that stands out to you, you pull it from the rack. So I did the, kind of the same thing with this paintings where I take the essence of the paintings um, based on their color gradient and you can pull one off the rack. So if you pull like pull them down, they kind of pop out. Um, and then if you click on them, it kind of brings you to more of a museum view where everything is uh, white to not pull away from the actual art and like the descriptions are minimalistic so that you can really focus on the kind of the high def of what the art is. Um, it's pretty simple. Uh, it's just that and then obviously like a bio page, you know, so a little about a little contact action. Um, you know, get in touch with his Instagram, his resume, email him, something like that. Um, I also wanted this to be uh, self-sufficient, so I didn't want him to come back to me uh, to ask to upload new art. So I built him kind of a um, sister website uh, that works as more of a curation page. So, you know, it's kind of password protected. I'm not going to show the, the, the URL address for you know, privacy reasons. But um, essentially, if you have a valid login, um, ooh, um, you can log in um, and so here is you know the layout the the stuff that he's curated and selected um, and if I want to add something new let's say let's add like a Monet to his I can add something like uh, water thermos And dimensions can be whatever material, you know, oil and canvas. Um, I think Monet is somewhere around there. Um, priceless, obviously. Um, we have a two URL system, so um, I can put in the URL and um, upload a file to an actual database. Um, this has to do with the fact that uh, we're using a cheap, free database that doesn't have any um, caching outside its local area. So uh, if you're on the west coast or like the kind of central um, it may just take a while to come from an east coast server and this is an auto website that gets used a lot so the caching is um, not great so um, sometimes it helps to work off like a third party cache so this is kind of like a, a solution to a um, like a lazy load or not a lazy load I guess it would be more like a like saving it someplace that has more caching, right? If you save it on Google, if we're taking it from Google or we're taking it from Photobucket or something like that, they have more resources um, and we can get stuff to load faster, uh, assuming someone wants to see his art from, you know, somewhere not near um, the database that we get for free. Um, so if I submit that, you can see that um, it got added at the bottom here. We created a color profile for it. So there's an algorithm that's written to um, pull out, to parse over um, the colors in here and kind of pull out the most prevalence of different, um, of different, of like different hues, I guess, different color profiles. Um, there's an API that I used to use this and then I iterated on top of that. Um, so we save this and we go to um, his actual website and we refresh it. Um, that's his uh, signature, so I kind of made a pulsating version of that as like a personal touch. Um, you can see that it's been added, right? Um, and we can see like, you know, description and the uh, prevalent information, right? And then if we want to change, um, the way that that's the order in which that's received, I guess. Uh, we could come down here and move this up, let's say two, uh, and save that. We can see that it's been moved to the third position the way it was over in the curation page.
that was our lead sorry um yeah so it's you know third from the from the end and then over here it's you can see that it's third from the end um and it's all still just the same photo um and then you know we can come by and delete this um and save that and if we come over here and refresh um now it's gone um, so it's basically a very simple CRUD operation um, that allows him to kind of manage his uh, art portfolio and display it to the, the general public.